everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee. I got this little hat on today. It's just a little bit chilly inside the tiny house. Looks like it's going to be overcast. We had like ice coming down last night. It was really weird. And the puppies are there. There's Papa just laying down, being a good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. There is some good news, and I'm checking my face, because normally I have like soot right on my nose, because I, I start a fire in the morning, and I touch my face, and then I go through the whole video all day long, you know, videoing, taking clips and whatnot, and I've got soot or something on my nose. It's always right here. Anyhow, good news about part of the process for getting Papa healed from heartworm. Miss Donna B and her daughter have offered to drive here and pick up Judy and keep her for the entire time. They've got to, and when I think about this, I want to cry because this is so, this is so thoughtful. They're going to have to make a long drive. I think it's just her daughter that's going to be driving here. They're going to come pick up Judy on the Monday before Papa starts on the 18th of February and keep Judy the entire time so that I can keep Papa calm in here. So at least I don't have to worry about that. That is a huge, huge relief, you know, a weight off my shoulders because Judy just wants to play. And Christina sent me pictures. I haven't responded to your email yet, Christina. So if you're watching, just know that I'm going to, I'm going to write you back here um, before too long sometime today. Anyhow, so that is, uh, that's awesome. Judy's going to have somewhere to go to play and to snuggle up with somebody and she'll be safe. Heck, she'll probably be safer there and have more freedom there because they've got an enclosed backyard. So she's not going to get out. So thank you, Miss Donna B and Christina. I really, really appreciate that. Um, still haven't decided on the crowdfunding yet. Um, I just have a problem with GoFunding, GoFundMe because of the fees. So thinking about it, I need to do something quick. Um, I'm going to call the vet on Monday and see how what their feelings are about all of it. And um, there are some charities that I have contacted that the vet will have to give me, you know, a written price quote, um, you know, of everything they're going to do, whether or not there's going to be a good outcome. And then I just have to apply for it. So I'm going to do that um, hopefully tomorrow. That's going to be Monday. Uh, they're closed today, so I can't call them anyhow. And, you know, what their feelings are about the GoFundMe thing and whether or not they would just prefer, you know, me get the donations and then pay them directly. Um, because I want to make sure that the donations go to a good cause. And the good cause is this big boy right down here. He's so, gosh, he's just so good. You know, yesterday he took off after a squirrel and he just goes shooting out there. And I said, no, Papa. And he stopped dead in his tracks and he came right back to me. Now, every once in a while, he'll go up and he'll go in the woods and I'll lose sight of him. Um, but then I call him and he ends up coming back. He knows where his home is. So today, I'm not going to do a whole heck of a lot. Um, I do need to chop some wood. I may show that. I may not. Um, need to check the chickens. I need to... Um, God, there's just so many things I need to do. You know what I need to do? I need to be like Papa Pepper. He set priorities. I've got so many things I need to do. I need to set priorities um, and just start listing them because I've got like homesteader ADD. I don't know which way to go, uh, what to do next. I mean, I know that there's certain things that have to be done, but <laughs> the main thing that has to be done is the thing that I least want to do, and that is finish the inside of this cabin. So... I mean, I want to do it, but it's just, it's, it's just so much. Anyhow, I need to check the worms today because uh, I haven't checked them in a long time. And hopefully I still have worms and they aren't dead. So it's just going to be a kind of like a light core, not a hardcore day today. All right, well, let's get going. I have not checked this worm bin in a long time. I threw a bunch of table scraps in there, but I don't know. Yeah, it looks like they're still crawling up around the top. I put this down in here because AJ from AJ Screen Topics said it might help them not crawl out. So let's kind of just take a look and see what's going on in here. Whoa, they have turned a lot of that bedding into beautiful worm cat stings. Look at that. But are there any worms left? There's still a few scraps. 
But look at all that gorgeous, gorgeous worm castings. Uh, look at, oh, there's a worm. I put like a partially eaten apple, almost whole, in it. And yeah, there's a couple little baby worms on it. I'm not seeing any cocoons on it. That's okay. Oh yeah, there's, there's worms down there. They're not very big ones, but they're there. Oh yeah, there's 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 plenty of worms in here. It might be hard for you to see, but all of this here, eventually it's going to be used as plant fertilizer. I'm gonna just dig through here. I'm not gonna put you all through it. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. Well, I just pulled together a few of them, and there's a couple nice sized ones, but there's not the big, huge ones that were in there before, and a lot of these look pale. I found a few worms that were actually dying. So, uh, but there's a ton of little baby ones in there. I'm not seeing any cocoons, but they are turning this bedding, shredded paper and whatnot into beautiful worm castings. Um, there's hardly any of it left. So I'm gonna quit feeding them. AJ says if you quit feeding them, they will start breeding. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna leave these all here together. Let them have a little worm party. Yep. Look at that. I think I may have gone, gotten a little too gung-ho with feeding the chickens these worms because I was doing that for a while. So hopefully if I just leave them alone for a little while, they will start breeding because I need more worms. Day couldn't be complete without chicken TV. Yup, I'm gonna give you some more of those grubs from Grub Terra. Hold on, guys. I gotta go see how much eggs we've got. Oh, we got one giant egg, looks like. Ah, uh, maybe that's not giant. I don't know, I don't think that's giant. Nothing up top. Doesn't look like there's anything down there except for the fake egg I put down there. And what about over here? One of them laid an egg in here. Good, good. Oh. They put some chicken poop in there. I'm gonna have to clean that out. Fake egg. Real egg. Yay! All right, beautiful chickens. Whoops, have a few grubs. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dumping them on top of you. Scatter a few there, so everybody gets some. Here you go, girlfriend. I think that's enough. That's all I was able to do today. I'm just gonna leave this one piece big. Um, got some skinny pieces and some chips. I like to use that for kindling. The logs are just too big for this little ax, so, well, at least I got something done. I think I'm gonna try the, the bow saw and see if I can get something done with that. I don't know if you can see that, but I've let them out in the yard. I didn't let them out to free range yet. Looks like somebody's up there and she was just making some noise. See her into the van? The van window up in the top resting box. That wasn't supposed to be a nesting box. I bet you I'm gonna have another egg or two. Yeah, I'll go back in there in a little while and check and see. Otherwise, what you guys doing? You still got vittles, Dan, you can eat. I'll let you out in a little while. Yep. Well, she just hopped out after making a big old noise. If she comes out, I'm going to go check that nesting box and see. Oh, look. There's a hen underneath there. I think it's Patsy. What do you think? You think she laid an egg? All right. Well, one of the hens is out, so I'm going to let them all out. Well, another hen went back up in there. She didn't go outside. wonder what's going to happen with her. I bet you she comes outside and just goes and joins the others. They saw Papa. It's okay, Romeo. Papa's a nice guy. Oh, look, Romeo's beside himself. All of the chickens have gone out there. He's gonna go find them. 
Look, he's gonna run. Run, 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 run. Told ya. Did I get one more egg? Nope, I did. Yes, I did. Wait, is that a fake one? That can't be a fake. Nope, nope, nope. I got a real brown egg. I just had to wait a little bit longer for it. Whoops. Sorry. I'm holding the camera funny. Oh, yeah, she just laid this. I wonder if there's others in the other boxes. No, nope, there weren't any in the other boxes. But I got me another little tiny brown egg. And you know what? I bet you they're over there. I bet you that one hen still wants to lay an egg. And I bet you she's going to lay an egg out there somewhere. Who knows? My neighbor can have it. Anyway, three eggs today. Yay. Papa. Leave it, Papa. Come on, chicken. Ee, chick, chick, chick. Ee, chick, chick, chick. Come on. Let's go find your sister. There you are. See? Everything's going to be okay. I just got a funny feeling I need to check the nesting boxes again. Let's see. Yup. That's what she was squawking about. I got... How many is that now, guys? Four? One, two, three, four. Yep, my fourth egg. Good girl, Patsy. Oh, nice one. It is uh, 12.39, so yeah, if I can try and keep them in the yard until one, I think they'll all just lay their eggs before they go out. Judy's just been barking all morning. She's crazy. Look at that beautiful rooster. Isn't he pretty? <laughs> That's it. That's good enough for now. I got some kind of okay logs and these are all pretty dry and some smaller pieces and some kindling type wood. And I did pull a bunch more over here. I'll process that eventually, but I've had it for today. Too much chicken drama. I'm just going to pull this up to the house and put some of it outside, bring some of it inside. And uh, I did have a fire going this morning. It wasn't going very good because, you know, most of my wood is green. That's okay, it's gonna be that way for a little bit until it has a chance to dry out. And it's been pretty wet lately, so that's not gonna happen. <sighs> well, let me get all the rest of this done and uh, then I'm gonna go cook something delicious and call it a day. <laughs> that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.